hello students so this video we are going to see the lateral surface development of a cylinder so here in this cylinder we can read the question so here we can understand it is given as a cylinder and the base diameter is 50 mm and axis height is 70 mm which is resting on its base on the ground it is simply simple vertical position next a cutting plane inclined at 50 degree to hp and meeting the axis 35 mm from the base look at this it is from the base draw the development of the lateral surface of the cut cylinder so here this is a question we can draw roughly here first we can draw the x y line a lengthy x y line like this so this is x y v p h p so here it is a simple vertical position this is a cylinder with the given diameter we have drawn and divided into eight equal sections and also the front view like this we can able to draw it and next it is said for the given dimension this is okay this is okay this is okay this is okay and a cutting plane look at here a cutting plane inclined at 50 degree at to hp and meeting the axis 35 mm it is hp so this is a hp line so when we are going to draw a parallel line at here 35 mm above so measure it from 35 mm above it will be at the middle so here you can draw a 50 degree inclined line which is 50 degree inclined line then you can proceed it so you can draw for the full circumference pi d pi d what is the pi d 3.14 into what is the diameter 50 so the value you have to write and you can find out the circumference then you can do the calculation here also we can divide it into 8 equal section this part by dividing 8 equal parts already we have studied so through that way we can divide it otherwise we can directly divide it by 8 parts for the total circumference from the so total circumference so here already we have told in the section of solid itself so here once again i'm saying where we have to start the point starting point that is when wherever the smallest height so this part will be the small if the cutting plane is like this means so here this is the smallest height from the smallest height part we have to start suppose this is a and this is a dash mean this so here the point will be starting from a and this is b c d why we have started from the shortest point so this is a section of uh, lateral surface development so this is for mechanically we can say uh, if we are going to work it with a sheet metal again we are going to join it for example this is a chimney or a pipeline we are going to join it again means so here we have to use the welding so the mechanical arc welding or gas welding so if it is a smallest part means we can easily join and economically it is very feasible if it is in lengthy one means we have to weld it for the whole area so so we have selected this part so this is the only reason and this is again a b c d uh, e f g h again a why it is again a because we have to join it again we have to join it again this is a circle we have to join cylinder we have to join it again now each and every part we can make it and your arc will be like this it will come like this so now we can go to the diagram with exact dimension i'm just drawing the x a yeah, lengthy x y line like this so this is y v p and h p and this is x so now i'm just finding out the perpendicular line from here this point this point i'm selecting just uh, finding out the perpendicular line so here this is the way and here the dimension is set as 50 mm so we can draw it by here 50 mm this is 50 i just mentioned and now the middle point 2.5 center point also i have marked now by using the compass i am just making the circle by here so by using the compass i am just making the circle
so here I can also divide this into so here I am working now 90 45 and here this is 45 just I can make it divide this into 8 equal sections that's why I am doing like this if you are drawing each and every line accurately means your answer your final diagram will be perfect so we have divided now at the bottom part bottom circle only I am going to mark it here that is so this is a b c d e f g h bottom layer only just i am making it so like this so this is the way okay now we can go to the top portion so now by using the roller scale look at here the total height is 70 mm for the 70 mm, I am just drawing the line like this. And the top portion I can join it top portion I can join it now the bottom area I'm just going to name it this is a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash within bracket and g dash within bracket again here h dash within bracket so by the way so now the sectioning plane so here the total height is 70 mm and from the base it is said from the base you have to make 35 so I am just going to draw a small horizontal line small horizontal line next by using the protractor I am just marking 50 degree here so which one is the 50 degree this is the 50 degree so this is the 50 degree now we are going to join it these two now we can also give the name this is 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash 6 dash 7 dash 8 dash that's all so this part will be removed this part will be removed and this part alone will remain now for this we are going to draw the lateral surface development so look at here how we are going to draw it so just uh, we can make the circumference value the circumference value is pi d so what is that pi d so it's very simple the pi d means so equal to pi d that is 3.14 into 50 the value will be 157 millimeter so the total length will be 157 millimeter so for this total length we have to take the calc of uh, now here i'm just going to measure i'm going to start from this point so here we can take 157 exactly 157 this is 157 we got taken for it now we can mark the same here so for this I can easily draw now so by already we are knowing so how to find out the equally 
uh, dividing way so in any angle that means less than 90 degree in any angle with the known dimension I am just marking like this with 8 mm 80 mm so each will be 10 mm I am just marking like this so now this is a final point I am just joining these two just joining these two and next just going to draw So this is a way of doing it by drawing the parallel line I can easily identify all those points. So this is a way of doing dividing it into 8 equal sections. Now I am going to draw the parallel line here draw the thin lines. So this is a way of doing it. So next, I am going to identify all the points. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Up to here, we have marked. Now, I am just going to extend all the points. But here, this 1, I can extend it. Then, by 2, for 2 and 8. And next, for... 3 and 7, next for 4 and 6, next for 5, now I can also extend the same here, my scale is not enough, if you are using drafter scale means, it will be very easy. So next we can also give the name I told the shortest height which part will be having the shortest height this part is having the shortest height so that again if you are going to join the sheets uh, sheet metal means it will be very easy so I am starting it from a, here a a will be the capital letter C D E F G H again a because these both will be joined together now where the one is the one is lying on the point of A above, above the point A. So this is what? 1. Next, where the point 2 is, this point 2 is above B. So here the point is 2. Where the point 3 is, it is above C. This is 3. Next, 4 is above D. Next, 5 is above E. Next, F 6 is above F, then 7 is above G, then 8 is above B, again 1 is above A. So this is the complete profile, we got it. Since this is a circular portion, so here this is circular cylinder, so here also we have to draw it by free hand, not a straight line. So this is very important. We can join it by free hand like this. It, it will be as a curved one. Here we should avoid the sharp edges. That is very very important. Like that your profile will come. When we are going to join it. Look at here. If it is a cloth. If a tailor. He want to cut for a shirt or some other else. Means. How he has to do. He has to know the dimension. He has to, he, he, normally our tailor will have a template and he will fix in it and he will mark it and then he will be able to cut it. Okay. But before that, he has to make the, like this. 
then only he can make the template so we can assume this as a template right so this is a way after that he will be he can join this part alone easily so that you will be getting a cloth then this part can be totally joined with some other area you can assume this as a hand area in cloth in shirt hand you can assume like this so this is a way of proceeding it once again another one uh, the typical thing uh, here also we can mark the dimensions also we can mark the dimensions so this is will there this is 50 and here this is 35 and this is 70 35 70 and this distance is One fifty-seven, pi d equal to one fifty-seven. Here we can write it like this. So this is a way of proceeding the uh, lateral surface development of a cylinder. And one more thing, for the same problem, if it is given instead of this fifty mm, they have given a sixty or seventy degree, seventy degree. So here how the angle will come? It will cut in this way. It will cut in this way. For example. If the cylinder is being cut like this, your cylinder is there, this is the part you have drawn. If the cut portion is here means how you can proceed it. So this is a way of doing it. Okay. So next, whenever it cut bottom and the top portion, for the two portion we cut means here, here you have to trace it. Again here also we need to trace it. So if it is A and this is B, it is falling in between A and B. Look at here, at the development of a surface, here this is A and this is B means this part it will be falling on. You have to measure this distance by using the compass and you have to mark it at here and here you have to mark it. So this is a way of proceeding it. It will come like this. So at the top some portion will be remaining this area and bottom some area will be left out. So this is a way of doing it. So it depends upon the question we have to proceed the problem. Okay. So this is a, these are the, some of the cylindrical cylinder problem uh, will come upon you. Then thank you.